Here at Metro Focus, we pride ourselves in bringing you fresh perspectives, not just from the tri-state area, but from around the world. We also like to bring you one-of-a-kind access to the talented people behind PBS's unmatched documentary programs. Last season, we brought you Syrian filmmaker Faraz Fayyad's gripping POV documentary, Last Men in Aleppo, a powerful first-hand account of the daily trauma that gripped the city of Aleppo for years into Syria's civil war. The film, which so captivated PBS viewers across the country last summer, has now been nominated for an Academy Award in the Best Documentary Feature category. Last Men in Aleppo tells the story of the White Helmets, the volunteer rescue workers and first responders who made it their mission to rescue survivors as air attacks from the Syrian government and their Russian allies reduced the city to rubble. <laughs> Now, in recognition of the documentary's Oscar nomination, we'd like to revisit my conversation with director Faraz Fayyad. I began that conversation by asking Faraz about what he learned during the making of the film. Yeah, actually, I discovered many, um, uh, how, how, how you can be human more and how you can uh, protect your human being values. I discovered what's meaning the trust when you be a group from the people who want to work together. These people, they try to give everything. They, 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 they sacrifice in something more, um, in, in everything to, to continue their life. And this is sacrifice is coming because that's make them continue their life. That's make them like believe that the life continue when they rescue a child or a, a, a mom or a father. It's clear from the film that these men are far from glory seekers. They don't want the glory. In fact, they're embarrassed when people whose lives they saved uh, try to thank them. So how did you get them to allow you to enter their lives and to follow them with your camera and these dangerous missions? Yeah, actually, this, this is a great question. And for them, be they believe that what they do and what they done is just for goodness, for their people, for their neighbors, for their friends. And the point that we start together from that, this is, it's not just about you, it's about documenting uh, the crimes that happen uh, around you, that to involve everyone, watch the movie, to fill in, in, in their responsibility. The people want to know. We have to trust in the people who watch this movie will take action. Many times they stop, of course, that they said we, it's enough, it's too much for, for us like to, to, to be in front of the camera many times. But all the time I try to tell them, as you do your job, I have to do the, my job. I'm a Syrian and you are a Syrian. You have, you have to, to, to say, rescue the children. And I have to, to show this is, uh, this is for the world, for everyone who, 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 who should take action, who should, should involve with us to be witnesses on the, the crime that happened to, in, in Syria to do any action to stop this ongoing war. So for us, um, the million dollar question that nobody has found an answer to is how do you bring peace and reconciliation to Syria? Um, what do you think? What's your answer? My answer and the answer of, if you ask the character of the film, what do you want? The, every one of them, every one of volunteer in the White Helmets, he will say, I don't want to do this job anymore. Then stop this war. And how that we can stop this war, it's thinking about the, 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 the justice in Syria. With the justice, the peace is coming. Without justice, then there is no peace. What I, what I mean in the justice that take all who is involved in the crimes, 
in the war crime in Syria to the court, then all the Syrians will start to communicate with each other. But if we leave everyone involved in this war in his place, then the people will all the time remember who killed their children, who killed their families, who, they, who, 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 who make them lose their cities, who, who forced, forced them to leave their, their houses, who destroyed their houses. Without justice, there is no peace. All right, Faraz, well, thank you so much for joining us today once again, and thank you for this wonderful film. Thank you so much. Faraz Fayad's film, Last Men in Aleppo, has been nominated for Best Documentary Feature, and the 90th Academy Awards will air Sunday, March 4th. <laughs>